Welcome to series on using Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi for human machine interface. In this project we have connected on Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi with another Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and PC. The project uses Canvas and Modbus communication protocols. The target of this project are 1. Set up Canvas communication between two Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards. 2. Set up Modbus communication between Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board and Modbus simulator in PC. 3. Set up RS-232 slash URT control of Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. The implementation will help us to verify the operation of Canvas and Modbus implementation on a board containing Renesis RA4M1 microcontroller. In this project, Arduino Uno is connected to PC using C-type connector for debugging. URT communication is used to send instructions from PC to Arduino Uno for selecting between Canvas and Modbus communication. URT communication is also used for sending specific data from one Arduino Uno to another Arduino Uno using Canvas. In Canvas mode, Arduino Uno collects 5 bytes from serial port from PC. The first byte indicates read-write operation. 1. Write. 2. Read. The format for write command is 1, A, B, C, D, where first byte is write indicator and A, B, C, D are one byte data. The Arduino Uno decodes this data format and sends A, B, C, D to another Arduino Uno. The second Arduino Uno collects this data and saves it in an internal register. After receiving the write command the second Arduino Uno transmits back the received data as an acknowledgement. The first Arduino Uno collects the acknowledgement data and displays on the serial port of PC. Second Arduino Uno also displays the information in serial port connected to PC. The format for red command is a 2, x, 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 where first byte is read indicator and other bytes are don't care bytes. The Arduino Uno decodes this data format and sends red request to another Arduino Uno. The second Arduino sends back the data stored in internal register. The first Arduino Uno collects the response data and displays on the serial port of PC. In Modbus slash RS485 communication mode Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board sends data to PC Modbus simulator. In this mode we set data to 10 coil and holding registers in bulk mode. The data to be sent is updated automatically every cycle. It is worth noting that the Renesis RA4M1 microcontroller in the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards contains a canvas port. The external trans receiver module is to convert TTL level signals to CNH and CNL differential signals. Similarly, the external RS-485 modules are used to convert TTL signals to RS-485A and B signals. In this project, Modbus stack is implemented in Arduino Uno board. Now let us look how the system works. After reset, both the Arduino shows the initial message. The first Arduino shows the menu to select the Canvas or Modbus mode. We start by selecting Canvas mode. A new menu is displayed to select the option for sending the data or read the data. By selecting the Send option, we send the data entered in the serial port to another Arduino Uno board. The second Arduino board sends the acknowledgement by sending back the received data. As it can be seen, the data sent and received are same. This data is stored in the internal register of second Arduino Uno as indicated by the message displayed in the serial port of second Arduino Uno. Next, we choose the read option. The first Arduino Uno send a read request, the second Arduino replies by sending the data stored in the internal register. As it can be seen that it is same as the values that was sent earlier. Now, we exit the CAN mode and start the Modbus mode by entering the required pattern in serial port. In Modbus mode, 10 coil and holding registers are updated continuously. This can be seen in the Modbus slave running in the PC.
we can exit the Modbus mode and repeat the process for another set of data. The successful execution of this code demonstrates the use of Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi for Canvas and Modbus communication. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to our channel for more updates.